All right, no money spent, squad. We have something crazy to look at, but I'm not quite showing it to you guys yet uh, because it is insane. So if you guys are excited for this video, hit that like button down below. I'm not really even sure what I'm going to do with this no money spent like episode, but I'm going to figure it out uh, because let's switch us over to another home. We got Diamond Ron Boone. <laughs> that was not expecting this. Diamond Ron Boone is absolutely insane. I was just... Um, playing these last, I had 15 games left, and I was just going through and cranking them out uh, for this last little bit in Triple Threat Offline because, you know, that was that. And I was already 285 games in, so I did not think that I was going to get anything out of the ball, so I was just playing it, man. So I apologize for not having live footage on it, uh, but I ended up getting them. And I also finished out the uh, Shot Creator Badge Award for finishing up the game's Triple Threat. So I guess what I'll do in this video is finish up the Triple Threat Online wins. I went ahead and got like eight, seven, eight wins last night um, just to have some fun. And I actually got some else that I guess I'll show you uh, at, right after we have a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you need your unlimited 12-0 domination Evo cards level 40 or even more grinded contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link is in the description. Okay, so now that that is done and dusted, we can come over here and I'll show you, I guess, the first thing that we got. So I was grinding through Triple Threat online last night and I ended up getting Diamond Gus Gerard, who is amazing and instantly found his way as that bench power forward um, over Draymond Green, who used to be there. So, you know, it sucks, but I think Gus is just a better power forward. That's just kind of how it is. Uh, let me toss a contract really quick, or a contract really quick onto that Devin, or James Harden. And now we can come over here. Let's open up the Shot Creator Badge Award Pack first, just because it's going to be fun and easy, I guess, to get done. Let's see what it is. Gold badges, plus three mid-range, five games, and Shot Creator Takeover. Not bad. And now we can open up the man, Ron Boone. I'm actually going to hide uh, my face uh, just while we open these, just for some easier pictures for the thumbnails. But let's go, Western Conference, shooting guard number 24, Utah Jazz, number 92. Look at this. Oh my, I said number 92, 92 overall. Ron Boone, look at the man go. We got a little dribbling going on, not bad, not bad, not bad, man, not bad. All right, we can come back. So Ron Boone, looking pretty damn good. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, the only cards that I don't have are Louis Dampier and David Thompson. Now, David Thompson, I will be getting probably either tonight or tomorrow, depending on how much triple the offline I'm going to be playing. And then Louis Dampier, maybe I get him in those last 13 games, but I highly doubt it. But the reason I'm so excited for picking up Ron Boone is he is a six foot two, uh, basically point guard, shooting guard. He's a shooting guard, point guard, but obviously you're going to run him at the PG. Um, the great thing about him, he's an A minus three point shot, A plus mid range, A plus um, or A inside, A plus playmaking, and has an A perimeter defense. Um, not really a post game, but a 93 driving layup, has an 84 three point shot, which is beautiful, and he has the Paul George release. I'm actually gonna check right now to see what his dribble style is because I honestly have no clue. Oh, it's quick. That's why he's amazing, and he's the Baron Davis signature combo. So he's gonna be one of the best dribblers we got out there. Um, he's got a 60 driving dunk, so he's not going to be an amazing finisher at the basket, um, but he still can do it a little bit. Has an 89 ball handle with some great playmaking, has an 84 steal, 86 perimeter, and he has 91s in his speed. And then when it comes to just pure badges, 27 of them on gold, honestly kind of crazy. Ankle braces, and this is why I love him. Pick Dodger and Clamps are both on gold already. He has quick chain, pro touch, slithery downhill, quick first step as well. Unpluckable green machine, like literally everything that you could want on a card. Silver hyperdrive, uh, silver catch and shoe, pick pocket interceptor. Like this guy is not only one of the best defenders in the game, he's one of the best playmakers, best shooters, just everything in general is amazing on this Ron Boone. And he has that just nice Paul George jumper, which always is going to be absolutely fire. So, what I think I'm actually going to end up doing is, as crazy as it sounds, I'm going to move Walt Frazier to the bench. And then I'll have, you know, Frazier just setting up buckets for Booker, Carr, and Serge Ibaka on that pick and roll. Gus is kind of a defender there. And then Kyrie Irving is sadly going to have to make his way out of the squad for Ron Boone, who is going to be carrying us now. Where we have Ron Boone at the PG, James Harden, Carmelo, Glenn Robinson, and Chris Dodds. So a lot of defense here with these first three. Um, Glenn's still a good uh, in interior defender. And then the bench is just crazy with the defense, man. Because Frazier, ML Carr, Gus Gerard, and Ibaka are all crazy. And then Booker's just going to shoot some threes. <laughs> Same thing with Porzingis. Um, so, yeah, this is absolutely crazy. And um, I guess we'll lab up a little bit. Usually, I don't do this with a lot of the cards, like, showing just how they're going to be dribbling. Uh, but, you know, I feel like it's going to be fun in this case. So, we'll bring out the man, Ron Boone. Actually, so gassed. 
that we ended up whipping him out. But the reason that he is amazing, as you can already see, he's just fast. <laughs> he's just fast. Like the guy in general is quick as hell. Even at six foot one, he's gonna be fire. Um, just shooting around with. He's got that Paul George jumper, which is gonna take a little bit to get used to because I haven't really used it this year. But hey, there we go. First green. I mean, just look at this. The guy is just cheesy. Can do whatever the hell we want with him. Oh yeah, this is what Walt Frazier is missing. A good um, dribble style to really kill it. And I'm getting rid of Kyrie just because Ron Boone has severely better defense. And I think I will be fine once I get this jumper down. Um, really just making it work off dribble with him. So, I don't know. There's that. Let me know if you think, should I keep Kyrie in or should I put Ron Boone in? I think the defense that uh, Ron Boone brings while still being a... Not just as good a scorer as Kyrie, but relatively similar. Um, I think we'll be fine uh, for our purposes here. So we'll have to see. Oh, man, look at him go. Yeah, Ron Boone's fire. So I guess all I'm going to have to do with this game is we're going to play some triple threat online, triple threat offline once, whenever I get back from class and just have a good time with it. So, yeah, there it is in general. So I uh, just want to show you guys that because I wasn't expecting it. So, um, yeah, like the video and all that wonderful stuff. I'll probably update you guys when I'm close to finishing off these 13 wins here. I'm about to get David Thompson. And same thing, I'll probably just show some highlights as I move with the board. We're 40 and 7. I'm going to try to finish this board all the way up, but I already have ML Car, I already have Gus Gerard. I'm kind of just moving up this board for MTN Token, so we'll see how that goes, man. See y'all, I guess, in a later part. All right, no money spent squad, so I know we needed a little section above this um, earlier today. But something actually just dropped on 2K right before actually Primetime 6, I think. I don't even know what they're calling it, but it's Primetime 6. Um, it's going to be dropping, so... It's actually pretty cool. Uh, just a quick little locker code that you can come in here and uh, put in. And I highly recommend that you do. Um, it's just good, man. So it's hub-option-pack. Um, if you don't know how to spell option and pack, I apologize to you. But there we go. And it's an Ask a Dev option pack that you can go ahead and put out here. It's from like the most recent 2K TV episode that just dropped, which is pretty cool. And there's these four options out here. The Carl Anthony Towns Signature, plus four for mid-range. Air Jordan, uh, what is it, 31s, something like that. And we have plus four defensive rebounding along with set shooter. So um, basically, there's only one thing that you want to take out of this. You don't want a defensive rebounding, don't want mid-range. Those aren't going to go for anything, and they are not worth it. And then there's this Diamond Jordan shoe. I personally already have like five or six Diamond Jordan shoes still after giving Mellow one, so it's just not worth it. And that currently Town Swing is going to give you like 500 MT. So the only one that you want is Hall of Fame set shooter. Uh, and it's actually a pretty good badge. I have it on uh, Amethyst Porzingis, obviously. He comes with it, and it's it's just a great badge. It's a good badge to have, um, and even if you don't want to use it in the card right now, um, you can always keep it for a later option. That's what I'm going to do with Set Shooter and Hyperdrive. I'm going to keep both of these for a later card that's going to drop that I could probably throw in the auction house and just chuck the Hall of Fame badges at them um, to just make it look good. So uh, we're just going to hold that and have some fun with it, and I can tell you guys... Um, it may not be the most, you know, big name badge out there, but this Hall of Fame set shooter on Chris Dubs, especially for a pick and pop guy, is amazing. A catch and shoot guy in general, Hall of Fame set shooter, it's going to be a great badge. So pick that up, I'm going to have some fun with it. We're going to have some prime time six that is dropping, and I did do a lot of, a little bit of grinding in between. So I am three wins off of David Thompson. Uh, whenever the prime time six drops, I'm probably going to do a little gameplay here and there with some of the cars, have some fun with it. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to play these three to try to, Get David Thompson and maybe Louis Dampier. Um, once we get David Thompson, that's going to be three new cards added to the lineup. Um, and then once we get David Thompson, I'm just going to play some Triple Threat, the 100, and just try to finish that off to get the um, Diamond Badge option right here, like we talked about earlier. So, going to have some fun with it. Just want to show you guys that uh, locker code really quick. Make sure you enter that. Pick up that Hall of Fame statue. It's really the only thing worth it. And uh, I'll see you all in, I guess, in the next section of the video. All right, so some things have happened in between a new DeAndre Jordan um, XP challenge, actually not XP challenge, but lifetime agenda got added just like Darrell Griffith. Right here we have a DeAndre Jordan for a free diamond. Um, you can also get a Sapphire and a Amethyst, which is pretty cool. You also can get some other stuff like a Slasher Badge Pack, Rim Protector, um, another Badge of War Pack, five tokens right there. And then if you complete um, just 75 dunks with centers, it's a lifetime agenda and you will get a guaranteed... Um, dunk tub back which is pretty cool um but the other things that are going on right now is in the um i guess community right now is we got some locker codes and some pretty cool um things to talk about so i'm just gonna pull up this quick little uh thing now this is a locker code for the new nba primetime packs because um you know they do a locker code for every single pack that drops 
Um, this one's a little bit more special because the NBA is starting up tonight, which is pretty cool. There actually might even be a game going on right now while I'm recording this. Who knows? But either way, the locker code right here is just as all of the other ones are. NBA dash primetime dash packs and actually no in just dash my team on this one, which is pretty good. And we get the typical thing that you'll see. Uh, one token, some trash shoe badge or shoe pack, and then the actual NBA primetime pack that we want. Um, let's just try to get this locker code pack. We're going to try to drop this in the corner and hope that it falls in our favor, which is not happening. All right, we get one token. I guess that's okay. And then the other one that is going to be absolutely horrendous to see in these My Team Streets, and I, I just, <clears throat> I do not understand why we did this, but, you know, 2K loves to take the things that we complain about and then add them to the game, which is awesome. And this one is going to be 2K TV dash opening right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then another dash, and that is night. I don't know why they did 2K TV opening night, because 2K TV, ah, I don't know. Um, you put that one in, and all it does is sends a free agent Giannis to your lineup. So I'm not going to open this pack just in case, you know, a future um, exchange gives us one, because I already have Giannis. I don't want to sell him for 1MT. So maybe a future exchange has just, like, any player, and we can do that, uh, which is pretty cool. I ended up also finishing another one of those full sets with this Jazz Statement um, right here, which gave us a free deluxe league pack. I don't really know uh, what we could get out of this, but let's just see. Nothing shaking. Uh, BJ Armstrong and Dennis Rodman. Okay, pretty underwhelming. I'm not going to lie. But there's something that I wanted to show you guys for the Snow Money Spent episode and kind of end it on this um, big thing is that there actually is some pretty cool uh, MT making opportunities off of this lifetime agenda with DeAndre Jordan. So I wanted to uh, shout this out, I guess, make this the focus of the video now. And this is DeAndre Jordan right here. Um, you can basically. Um, do whatever the hell you want, but this game right here, win three triple threat offline games using three Clippers players. Now, a lot of people are just buying the Clippers players off of there, and also this win a game using five Mavericks players is actually causing the Mavericks players and the Clippers players to go up in price. I haven't actually fully checked um, the Mavs, but I locked the set, so it's not really going to affect me too much, but I could have sold them for a bit of empty. But either way, all these Clippers players, I've checked it for Lamar Odom, typically go for like 700 MT, and now they're all going for at least 1500. So I took every Clippers player that I have. Um, if you have other ones that aren't just base set, go to card type, um, players, and then change this right here, the team to Clippers. You can see them all. Uh, but I picked up Zubak, already had Nor Nixon, and I have Ron Harper, so I can still do the challenges nice and easy. I don't even have to worry about it. But it also allows you to sell all of these. Um, I did a Chris Middleton gameplay and a Rick Berry gameplay, so we lost a bunch of MT. But. I did sell my Lamar Odom, my Katino Mobley, Patrick Beverly, Chris Paul, and Elton Brand. All of these going for like a bit more. Um, I actually looked at Elton Brand when I got him, and he was only going for like 5k MT, and we sold him for 8. So extra 3k MT of profit right there, making up for what we lost on Rick Barry, which is pretty cool. And if you have any Mavericks players as well, which I doubt that I have, um, that aren't in the normal set, but I'll check it anyway. Uh, Mavs, a lot of reward players, and yeah, just reward players. So, you know, what can you do? I would sell these as well, like Rolando Blackman um, what it was is still actually one of the cheapest Amethysts, uh, but maybe guys like Brendan Haywood, yeah, going for a bit more MT, which is awesome to see. So if you can sell those, I would get out from under them, um, sell them nice and cheap because people are going to need them and are going to want them pretty easy. Um, also, apparently we don't have anything in card grading, but we could send a few if we wanted those. So you know what? We could do that, but we have two more games to get the man, the myth, the legend, David Thompson. So I'm going to play those three games. Um, to get this David Thompson, and that's where we'll wrap up the video. So I guess the big tip for this, go out, sell all your Clippers players and all your Mavericks players. If you don't aren't using them, especially those golds, get out from under them. They're probably not going to be this expensive in a long while unless we get some moments challenges. So go ahead, sell them, and I think you are going to be uh, quite happy that you did. So anyway, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to play these three games to put that offline, see how it goes. The lineup that we're going to be using is literally just Mellow because I have a diamond contract and the medium bonus Sam Vincent, large bonus Craig Hodges, and it's going to be a fun time. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the final game is here for David Thompson. We can go out and have some fun with Carmelo Anthony. It's basically, I'm going to show you literally what I do like every single game just to get Almost guaranteed buckets. So this is a <laughs> this is a Shaq right here. Um, Ryan Archie Diakono thinks he's doing something. Shaq's out here, and oh yeah, 
yeah, defense doesn't mean anything. Uh, but this basically is just a really broken move that you can just abuse every single time if you're playing 2K. Most of the time it works. Um, you can just go to this corner, hop as the screen's coming, and then boom, just like that, open three. And as long as you time your jumper relatively okay, it's going to be a bucket because it's 2K22. And even if you white, it's a green. So um, not bad. And again, it works on every single corner. Right as the screen's coming, do a little hop, walk over, and boom, we'll step back. And ooh, we didn't get open enough. I should have taken the jumper quicker. But that's generally just what you do. So... Uh, yeah, that's what I've done for these last like 17 games today. I've just been having some fun with Carmelo Anthony, just messing around with him. He's pretty fun. I'm going to leave R2D kind of up, and I really don't care. We just have to win the game, um, and uh, I don't think he can shoot. And also, sometimes you can just kind of walk back, um, and this is what, Chetty Osmond doesn't have defense, so give me a little hop and green right in his face. Um, I meant to hop backwards, but if I hop to the side, whatever. But it's been pretty fun. Um, I guess since we're in this portion, let me know where you guys currently are in this uh, triple threat offline board. So I'd like to know, I guess, the number of games. I'm just going to kind of, I guess, compile a highlight of me just uh, fin making the shots um, to finish off this little bit with Carmelo. Oh, woo! I love that little hop set. Anyway, I'll just do a little, I guess, compilation of these last few buckets. Mellow just smacked that right in the face of Shaq, and that is game number 300, or win number 300. It's probably like game 320 or something like that. I've lost um, a few just messing around and going for certain XP challenges, but, you know, uh, that's water under the bridge, and we finished it out with one Volt reward card, and that was Ron Boone, and I gassed that it was Ron Boone. And there it is, David Thompson for the squad. Not too bad. We can open it up. And finish this one. Make sure we open the right back because I accidentally opened demo car. Yeah, it's a fun time. Um, I'm just gonna make my little camera go away again just for David Thompson, just to have some fun. So for nice clean screenshots for the thumbnail, shooting guard number 33, David Thompson from the Nuggets, 92 overall. There's our man. So the only card we didn't get, I think, is Louis Dampier. Not bad. And like the Darrell Griff at the end. Uh, you know, DeAndre Jordan. But I don't really care too much about those cards to be honest. Uh, but there it is, David Thompson, probably not going to make the squad. I do like his jumper, uh, but there's just, I do not see room for David Thompson in this team. We'll move Harden back to where he belongs, and boom, throw Booker back where he belongs as well. I just don't see room for David Thompson in his lineup. He's not better than Booker, and he's not better than Harden. It's just kind of how it goes. And he can't play point guard, which is kind of an out. But all around, pretty nice. Again, remember to go out and um, grab those Mavericks players, those Clippers players, and settle the hell out of them. Uh, you can probably get some snipes too because people just don't know that the cards are going for that much right now. Um, I missed a, a few Corey Maggettis for like 750 so, you know, mm, I could have flipped them for like double their MT, uh, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. And while everybody's focusing on those, I'm probably going to go try to snag some badges for the cheap cheap. Who knows? I still have to get a quick first, or a clamps to add to Mello and, um, We'll see how that goes. I think the badge is still a little bit too expensive for my taste, but we'll see um, how everything shakes out. So if you did enjoy this episode of No Money Spent, the like button down below. Comment what you think about it. Hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next.